Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to my Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way through Route 4 and Route 5. Today, we are going to be making it to our next trial. But before we do that, I want to thank you guys so much for all your comments and tips that you guys left me. This is a suggestion from you guys, so we're going to make our way back to Paniola Ranch, head inside of the Pokemon Daycare Center, and talk to the lady on the other side of the counter. I want to give you guys a very big thank you for all the support you always show me. Make sure you go ahead and click that like button. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. We received an egg, and that egg is going to be joining our party. It's going to be very exciting to see what that egg hatches into and what kind of cool Pokemon we'll get to add to our team. So yeah, Rotom, we got ourselves a little egg. I hope you're pumped up. And it seems like Rotom really is because we're going to be able to hatch eggs a little bit faster now with Rotom's help. So with that, guys, let's go ahead and make our way back to where we left off last time over on Route 5 because it is time for us to make our way to our next trial. I'm super excited for it. I've gone ahead and trained up our Pokemon as well in preparation for this next trial. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. As you guys will be able to see, everybody is at level 22 with Hades being at level 25. And then we got the egg. So aside from that, I feel we are good. We are ready. Let's go ahead and make our way towards Brooklet Hill, designated trial site for the Island Challenge. Now this is a pretty cool looking area. We are at Brooklet Hill. Let's look around and see if we can find the trial. Hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklyn Hill. So, trial go, will you be attempting my trial? Definitely. Then I will explain the trial to you. My particular trial is this. I want you to hurt the Pokemon found in the pools of Brooklyn Hill, driving them downstream to draw off the totem Pokemon. If I might be so blunt, they're wishy-washy. It's wishy-washy I want you to hurt. But I would expect you to swim through all the pools yourself. I would love to get for you. With that, guys, Lapras was registered to our ride pager. You climb top Lapras there, you will be able to travel over bodies of water. Now you'll be able to help drive those Pokemon downstream for me. So if you're ready, please follow me this way. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we are ready indeed. Let's make sure we set up the Lapras paddle. And let's go for it then. There's also going to be a couple patches of grass here. So make sure you guys prepare for this trial. Pick up some super potions over at the Pokemon Center. Get yourself some repels because this trial can be a little bit difficult. Especially if you started off with your boy Hades over here like I did. It's a little bit tough having a fire type going up against all these water types. Of course, Rodri, it is a lovely name. Just lovely. Now then, do you see those two splashes over there? I'm thinking that at least one of them might contain a wishy-washy. In fact, it's likely both might, don't you agree? Would you try to drive them down the stream with a little help from Lapras? Let's go ahead and drive them downstream then. It's time for us to go for a ride, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to be riding on Lapras. We're wearing the same outfit that we are riding with on the Mantine. So here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into our first battle here in this trial. And it is going to be a wishy-washy indeed. So it's very good that we are going up against wishy-washies and that we have Echo up in front because we have Absorb. So let's go ahead and see how much the Absorb is going to be doing. We have Echo at level 22. Wishy-washy is level 17 right now. So we have a good level advantage. Let's go ahead and make sure we use that. Wishy-washy has gone down, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to gain some good XP. I have to tell you guys that Wishiwashi is a very cool Pokemon. It's also very strong. If you guys are in need of a water type at this point in the game and you want to add one, Wishiwashi would not be a bad option at all. So the Wishiwashi fled downstream, heading deeper into Brooklet Hill. Thank you, Lana. We appreciate it. We're trying our best out here. We're doing what we can. Let's go to the next one then. And let's bump into our next battle, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have been having a great week. I've been having a really good week, having a lot of fun playing through this game. We're going up against a uh, Dupiter, and let's see what we can do here against this Dupiter. It's making him go pretty crazy here and there, ladies and gentlemen. My life has been a little hectic with school, but it feels good that things are winding down. December break is coming up. I'm going to be going to El Salvador, and I can't wait to get there and to hang out with my cousin and my grandma, to see my family, to see my uncles and aunts. It's going to be a really good time. 
it's always so much fun to get to go back home. I have to tell you guys, I do feel like I have multiple homes sometimes. Like different places that just like, you know, warm my heart. El Salvador is one of those places. And then, you know, Florida is also one of them. I think I have different places that I call home. So sometimes, you know, after a long semester of school or just when I go on vacation, it feels so good to hop on that plane, fly over to El Salvador and just like, you know, land there and, and walk out. And it just feels so great, to, you know, to be in the country where I was born and to have uh, so much fun there and to just get to see all the people and the land. I love it there, you know, it, it's really nice and it really helps me to be there. I got to tell you, it calms me down and I feel like if I'm ever stressed out or anything going there, this helps me relax a good bit. I'm going to go for that rock throw on this Fletchling. It is down, ladies and gentlemen. So we are doing quite good today here in this trial. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it going. Let's keep on rolling through here. And let's keep on defeating whatever comes at us in this trial. So let's go down this way and see if we can find anyone. Who is this guy over here? Trial Goa, you must believe in your partners then. In that case, I'll be waiting. Yes, waiting for you to overcome your trial and waiting for the rain to fall once more. Waiting for the rain to fall once more. Why is that guy waiting for it to rain over here? I mean, if you want it to rain a little bit, dude, you know, I can get one of these wishy-washy to start, you know, splashing a little water out of their mouth, kind of make, like, you know, a little sprinkle effect. Like, I don't know if you guys ever did this, but I used to play outside a lot as a kid, and I know that there were moments when we just, like, get the hose, especially here in Florida, and we just start, like, you know, spraying it up in the air, spraying the water from the hose up in the air, and they would make it feel like it was raining on really hot days. So, come on, like, you, you know what I'm talking about here. We could definitely do that here with a water type Pokemon and maybe this guy over there will give us an item or something we do that you never know we're doing pretty good up against all these water types so far and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we keep this going I'm gonna use as many absorbs as I can I have to tell you guys that having echo on our team has been a very very good call so I'm excited to see what other Pokemon you guys want to see added to I love getting tips from you guys and reading your comments and hearing from you about your questions of the days. It's just really, really cool to get to talk to you guys and to get to share a little bit about myself too with you. So let's see where we are going after this because we took down the Poliwag. We're going to gain some good XP, ladies and gentlemen. I want to make sure that we defeat everyone that we can here in this trial. The more XP we get, the better. Also, if you're looking for an area to train, right there is the Pokemon Center, guys, before this trial. And right before it are a bunch of patches of grass. So if you're looking for areas to train, you might even get some Roto Loto, which might give you some double XP, you know, some Roto XP. Use those and then hop in those patches of grass. That's what I did, and it helped me speed up my training a lot. We can take a little picture here. So there is a little Pokemon over there. Kind of cool to see. So if you guys want to come over here and do a little picture thing, take a picture in the picture spot, go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and continue on, though, and see if we can keep on going with this trial because we've been doing pretty good so far during this thing. Let's keep it up, ladies and gentlemen. Where is this going to take me? So there are two more spots that we need to go into. Thank you, Lana. You know, we appreciate you always helping us out here, giving us all the support, giving us a Lapras. I'll take a Lapras. If somebody wants to give me a Lapras ride pager, I mean, any time of the day of the week, I will gladly take a Lapras ride pager. Imagine how much you could do in these regions with a Lapras ride pager. You could do so many fun things. It'd be so cool to have all these different Pokemon that you could call at any moment. Imagine, you just want to go to the beach. All right, boom, I'm going to call Charizard up real quick. All right, we're at the beach. Boom, I'm going to hit up Lapras real quick. Hop on it and then, you know, ride over to an island. What I would give if we had that in real life, guys. Maybe someday we'll get that. Maybe someday we'll get Pokemon randomly, somehow, who knows. That's a dream, you know, that really is a dream. We're going up against these two wishy-washy... And so far, they're, they're holding out. They're putting up a little bit of a fight here. But what can I say? You know, wishy washy has got to do a little something once in a while. I'm sure they're going to put up a fight eventually. Seems like there's so many of them here. I also think it's very, very cool that we get to see these areas in Alola. The Alola region is very, very big and broad, as you're able to tell. And it's full of different little 
you know, subcultures and locations to it. It's got, you know, a little bit of a swamp, a little bit of a grassy area. It's got a bunch of different spots for Pokemon, which I think is cool that we're getting the chance to see this. I feel like it must have been very, very cool to be one of the first trainers in Alola to come here and to get to see how it was beforehand to get to create these spots or find them. I imagine that there are other places in the Pokemon world, other regions, that have similar spots like this that are kind of just like hidden away. And I know that we've seen some of them in other games, and you know, maybe we'll get to see even more little hidden away areas with special Pokemon, like the Totem Pokemon, in the future. I would really, really like to see that, because I've always been that type of person that is intrigued by the differences of Pokemon, because there are so many similar Pokemon. For example, we have Rockruff, with three different forms and if you really think about it there's something interesting about that i think it's those differences in the pokemon those little evolutions and those changes that we could really go into depth with and do some more research in the pokemon world so maybe that's what i end up doing if i was in the pokemon world maybe i become like a pokemon professor and i would just be really into researching i feel like i would do something like that or maybe go a full colrus and you know just try to dimensional travel and all these sorts of things you never know just something you want to do since we have these wonderful pokemon that have all these powers let's go to the next one then that was pretty easy there we were able to hold out with echo echo with the absorb is able to tank out a bunch of hits but here we go we're up against a dupiter so let's go ahead and take out this Dupiter again. Echo's been doing some good work up here in front, and I'm really glad that we trained up our Pokemon. As I said, it's going to get tougher, guys, and you're going to want to make sure that you keep your Pokemon at around the same level. Keep them balanced. That will really, really help you throughout this adventure. So then you're able to swap out or switch out to whatever Pokemon you want. What really has helped me in Pokemon games is developing a team with multiple typings, making it a good team that I know I could switch out to if needed, and then making sure that the moves they have cover a broad group of different Pokemon typings. If you can get that together, you can build yourself a team that can take on anything, and that is what we're going to be going for here as well. I also would like to add more team members than just six, so if you guys have recommendations for Pokemon that you'd like to see me catch and use on the team, maybe for like the next trial or something of that sort, I'm definitely all up for that. I've played a lot of Pokemon hacks on my channel before where I've had the chance to develop 6 to 12 man teams and I've been able to switch between those 12 Pokemon and I like that. Interchanging roster is always a lot of fun so make sure you guys let me know what kind of Pokemon you would like to see since we do still have some open slots on our team. Did we drive down the wishy-washy? I think we did but she wants us to keep on going downstream. So let's keep on going downstream then. If Lana wants it, Lana gets it. And let's see where this is going to take us. It's starting to rain a little bit here, guys. It's starting to rain a little bit harder. Just as we're coming up on Brooklyn Hill, Totem's Den. Rodri, look there. J yes, just over there. It would seem we succeeded in drawing out the Totem Pokemon. Strike again the totem with all your strength and seize victory. It's time for us to take on the totem Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. We got a hyper potion. And why did it just give us a hyper potion? Is it trying to tell us a little something? Now I'm a little bit worried, so I gotta make sure I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon here a little bit. Yeah, we're we're not gonna go into this, you know, unprepared. We're gonna be ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. So our Pokemon are nice and healed up. Let's jump into the water then and let's go for a surf. It's time for us to take on the totem Pokemon. And I hope you guys are pumped. I am ready for this. Let's go ahead and take on the totem. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus the next Totem Pokemon. We're challenged by Totem Araquanid, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is showtime. The Totem Pokemon's aura has flared to life. It's got a speed boost going. I have Echo up in front, and let's see what Echo can do against this level 20 Pokemon. 
And I want to open up with wing attack right off the bat to see how much we can do to this guy. That did not do as much as I wanted. And it just went for an Aurora Beam. Super effective. We are down. An Aurora Beam does way too much damage to our flying dragon. So let's go ahead and switch things up. I'm going to go into spot now. And Arquanid is calling an ally Pokemon. So we are in this fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a little bit tougher than we expected. Now that Echo is down, we're going to have to work around that. So Spot is going to go for the attack on the Dupiter. Let's see how much we're going to be able to do with the Rock Throw. Should do a lot since it is super effective. Dupiter is down, and that is good on us. At least we were able to take, you know, the little ally out. Because I know that having an ally with the totem Pokemon can do a lot of damage. We're learning Rock Tomb now. So with that, guys, we're going to forget Rock Throw. We learned Rock Tomb. We got to tank out this bubble here. Hold out, Spot. Hold out, buddy. Oh, man. All right. So that was a KO. I got to keep this going. So let's switch over to Hades this time around. And let's see what Hades can do. Now, we're at a type disadvantage here with Hades, but we can hope to at least put some damage on this Araquanid. Let's go ahead and go for the bite then, ladies and gentlemen, and hope for a flinch. We did not get the flinch. We got to tank out this bubble. We're good. 23 HP. Another ally Pokemon is coming out. Are you freaking kidding me? We already have a spot out. So then we just got to go for it with Hades at this point. We're just going to have to attack the Masquerain. And then leave the Araquanid open for an attack. So let's try this strategy out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go for that Fire Fang. It is so close to going down. That bubble is going to take us out. Hades is down. And it comes down to our last Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. We have Lola left. And the egg. So here we go, guys. Let's send out Lola before we have to send the egg out here. Lola, what are you going to do for us? We could go for that Z power, but I have to tell you, I, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the Z power. We're going to hold on to it. We're going to hold on to it. Let's go for the quick attack onto the Masquerade. It should take it down. And there we go, Lola. That's what we like to see. Lola the bunny pulling through. We got to tank this out yet again, ladies and gentlemen. Cross your fingers. 30 HP. Ooh, it is time for us to do a little something. Let's see how much our pound is going to do. Got it into the yellow. I'll take that. We got it into the yellow. Lola, 5 HP. I have to heal up another Pokemon here. Let's see what we got. I do have a couple revives left. We have two of them left. Make sure you guys use your revives accordingly. As you might know, you cannot buy revives. So use the ones that our friends gave us to the best of your ability. Let's go ahead and switch out to Echo then, ladies and gentlemen. Lola did what Lola could do. We're going to go for our Z power, and this is it. We're going for it, ladies and gentlemen. We are using our Z move. Echo surrounded itself with a Z power. Echo unleashes the supersonic sky strike. Echo has done it, ladies and gentlemen. We hit a crit. And with that, we have took down the totem Pokemon. Awesome job from Echo. I knew we were saving that Z-Power for something. We're going to gain some XP. It's going to be a great time over here. You're gaining some XP. You're gaining some XP. Everybody's gaining some XP. I think we're going to go ahead and keep Wing Attack for now. So with that, guys, we are going to be good to continue on. And that is how we wrap up a battle. That is awesome. Great job to Echo there. That is what I'm talking about. We defeated Totem Arc Wanted. Very well done, Rodri. Please come back this way. What a very surprising surprise. Who would have thought it? That all those wishy-washy gathering would have summoned an Araquanid that is... <laughs> even I was caught. Look, Lenin Sinker. You were amazing, Rodri. Truly impressive. Please take this.
We received another Z crystal, and that is trial complete. You do know what this is, don't you? Watch, this is how you use Waterium Z. And I have more than just that to offer you, another token for clearing my trial. Here, this is a Lana original, one of my own handmade fishing rods. We obtained a fishing rod, yeah! This is how you use my fishing rod. You know, we might be able to do a little bit of fishing around here now, guys, with this fishing rod. So it's going to be a whole lot of fun. We're getting a lot of goodies from Lana. We got to make sure we use them. If you want to catch any Pokemon, you fish up for your team. I recommend dive balls. We got ourselves some dive balls. Thank you. By the way, did you know I once reeled in a red gear dose? Well, you did? Well, what do you think? You did a fine job today. Can I see you back to the Pokemon Center on Route 5? Yeah. Good. Let's be going then. And you can always do a spot of fishing later. Next is Kai Wee's trial. It will take place at Willow Volcano Park. Oh, and that reminds me. See any Sudowoodle by Paniola Ranch? They were causing some trouble for people, so I gave them a little dose of Z-Power using my Waterium Z. Just a little lesson for them. I wonder how they will react now that they see that you have Waterium Z too. <laughs> see you later, Lana. As she just mentioned, there were a couple of pseudo Wudos, if you guys remember, that were blocking our path. Speaking of blocking our path, how's it going, Nurse Joy? I gotta tell you, you've never blocked our path. If anything, our path is just heading right straight to you in that direction. Good to see you. All right, well, maybe we'll see you again sometime, Nurse Joy. Always a good time catching up. Always a good time. Let's go ahead and make our way over to Paniola Ranch then, ladies and gentlemen, which is where we are going to be continuing our adventure from. And I'm very excited to keep going from here. I feel like we've been getting a lot done. We've been making our way through a lot in the Alola region so far. And we're only going to keep that going. Hey, what's up, kid? How's it going, dude? Yeah, we passed the trial. Like, I'm about to use those Waterium Z here. Do the Wudos. You might, you might want to scram. Wait, those weren't Pokemon? I totally thought they were just plants. Calm yourself, Sozy. Those must have been the Pokemon known as Sudowoodo. A most interesting Pokemon. I wish I could research them further. They must be mimicking plant life in an attempt to avoid their weakness, water. These Alolan Pokemon, they're all so unique. It's truly fascinating, but battling them is not easy. So I challenge you with one we are accustomed to, Poipul. I knew it. You can't just challenge people like that. Sorry, Mr. Trainer, but do you think a battle would be okay? Yeah. I will warn you now. Poipul cannot be found anywhere in Alola. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Ultra Recon Squad Dulce. So here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and take on the big guy who's going to send out Poipul, which is a Pokemon that cannot be found here in the Alola region, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and open it up with Echo. And if you guys know a thing or two about this Poipul, it is a very strong Pokemon here. And we need to watch out. Any Pokemon that does not come from here or cannot be found in the Alola region is going to be some trouble. So let's go ahead and see what we can do against this Pokemon. It's going to be going for that Meno Shock. Oh boy, we got to tank that out. I'm going to go for the Wing Attack and it really does not do much to this Pokemon. We don't do a whole lot to it. I'm going to go for the Supersonic. It went for the Meno Shock and it might just take down Echo. There we go, guys. Echo has gone down. Poifold's Beast Boost is powering up its attack. That means we are going up against an Ultra Beast, ladies and gentlemen. That is correct. Poipul is an Ultra Beast, and it is a very strong one, as you can see. So let's go for the Fire Fang ourselves with Hades. And that is looking good. We can always trust Hades to do some damage. Let's keep that damage going then, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go for one more Fire Fang. It's a good thing that this Pokemon is level 20, so we still have a couple levels up on it. With that, the Poipul has gone down. We're going to gain some XP. Lola grew to level 23. Wants to learn Jump Kick. I will definitely take that. We've been needing a fighting time move, and it looks like we have finally got it. So with that, we just gained a very, very strong power up. We defeat Ultra Recon Squad Dulce.
I must research the reason for my defeat. You're Z-powering. It's so pretty when it shines like that. What are you suggesting? That it might be like the beautiful light our ancestors once saw? How should I know? See you around, trainer. Yo, kid, you see me whoop that guy? All right, let's go ahead and continue on then, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to make our way to Route 6. Here we go. A brand new route. A brand new adventure. We got ourselves a revive. And we can definitely use any revives that we get. Because there aren't many. Let's go ahead and jump into this doubles battle then, ladies and gentlemen. And let's do this thing. I'm excited for this doubles battle. It's always a lot of fun to get to do some doubles battles. We are challenged by the Dancing Family. They have two Pokemon. It's going to be a Jigglypuff and an Igglybuff. Okay, pretty cool to see these two Pokemon here in the Alola region. As you guys know, there's some Pokemon here in Alola that you don't get to see very often. So if you do see some Pokemon from Kanto or from a faraway region, you got to make sure you note that. Let's go ahead and go for the Iggly buff then and see how much damage we can do. Big ol' Fire Fang. That Jigglypuff is down. That crit was a little too much there. It didn't even require that. We didn't even need to be critting it there. Maybe we could save some of those crit guys. You know, maybe we could save some of those crits for the next trial. How about that, Hades and Spot? How about we hold on to those crits? Lola, Echo, you guys hearing me there? We defeated the Dancing Family. Let's continue on then through Route 6. And see what else we can find here. There's a little flag coming right up. You there, trainer. Can you come to my aid? Over here. Yo, yo, yo. Don't want to turn your backside on us. And you, you're the announce school trainer from Mele Mele, yo. These scoundrels are Pokemon thieves and you're on familiar terms with them? Ah, uh, well, yeah, I know them. Yeah, that's right, you do. I'm Hapu. Laughing the big city, sure is something else. Pokemon thieves drum about brazenly. Hmm, I'll leave that one to you. We're not thieves, yo. It's a legitimate business. We got straight messed up in Mele Mele. Got exiled to Akala, but we ain't going out like that. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Team Skull Grunt. Let's go ahead and take this guy on. It's going to be a lot of fun getting to battle the Team Skull Grunt. He's got one Pokemon. He's going to throw out a Drowsy. And we are going to go ahead and wrap this battle up as fast as we can. I have Hades up in front. And you guys know Hades has that bite. So let's go ahead and put that bite to work. Let's go for it and take down his little Drowsy. It's only level 17. So we should be able to take it right down. There we go, Hades. That's what I'm talking about, you know? Hey, the, the little training has been paying off, Hades. I definitely do see it. it it's great to see. It's great to see here. With all these losses, we're going to anger our bosses. See, it says like salt. Yo, it's all your fault, yo. Much there. Shall we stomp these scoundrels? It'll be a mess to clean up afterward, but I'm willing if you are. Time for us to break out, yo. Gotta tell y'all peace out, yo. I'm not going to keep telling you this, except when I keep telling you this. You better listen to what my homie says and drill into that thick skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget, Num Skull. You'll be fine getting home. Glad to see that Drifloon will get home on her own. I've got you to thank for that. Give me your name, trainer. Rodri, eh? That's a fine name. I like the way you handle yourself in battle. Must and I always wonder all about low to try to achieve our goals, so perhaps we'll meet again someday. I'm indebted to you for your aid, after all. Oh, uh, yes. You might want to try your hand at a battle royale or two, Rodri. Must I hear things you'd be well suited to it, given how strong you are. See you later, Hapu. Let's go ahead and make our way inside then, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to Royal Avenue. Now that we've made it to Royal Avenue, we will be continuing from here. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. Make sure you click that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Alola!